How are we all doing, guys? I have a load of old TV shows that we used to do on Irish TV saved on my Sky box that I'm about to lose because I'm upgrading the Sky. So the only way I can keep them is to record them from the TV and put them straight up onto YouTube. The quality is crap. The sound is crap. The lighting is crap. I talk in the third person all the time. But I tell you what, if you just keep an eye on what I'm actually doing, they're still amazing recipes and you'll learn a lot on how to cook. So sit back, relax and enjoy because they're going to be gone and gone forever because unfortunately the channel went, well, basically tits up. So here we are, guys. A couple of different recipes. Just give us a like, give us a share, give us a subscribe. Hey, I'm getting old. I could do with the help. <laughs> Hope you enjoy it. Don't forget the theme of this show, guys. It's eliminating the fear. So that's why I'm going to show you another cracking little dish. Let's get the heat on, Trevo, while you're talking. Now, quail. What is quail? It's a beautiful, beautiful bird. I absolutely love it. And when you can butcher a chicken, you can butcher any fowl, any bird, because they're all the exact same thing. So look, there's the legs, the breastbone. And why do I want to show you this? Because I absolutely love it. Let's get the pan on there as well now. You can get this in all good markets. You can get them in a lot of good butchers throughout the country, but it's the flavor that's just amazing. And you might realize there's this reoccurring thing going on with cooking with Trayvon. I don't have a thousand and one ingredients. It's nothing to do with a lack of imagination, but it's got everything to do with a complete understanding of marrying ingredients together and seasoning to perfection. And that is what we are all about right now. Here is a classic example of season, a couple of ingredients to perfection, and you've got an absolute incredible dish. So let's go. There we go, we pull them out so you can see exactly. Look, there's his little chicken wings at the end, and the quail, and they're really small, so they take very little time to cook. So it's the exact same as a chicken. Go down between the natural gap between the leg, underneath, dislocate the shoulder, here to crack, and straight through, and that's exactly what we want. So we're gonna do that for all of them. Let's do another one. Pull it down, give it a little nick. See between the leg and the breast. Turn it around, break, dislocate the joint, and we're straight through. Simple, simple, simple. Any problems, guys, get on to us on food at irishtv.ie and we can give all the information you need. Breastbone coming right down the middle. Let's just slice that, exactly like the chicken. Pull it apart, there's a little fillet. Go through the joint. There we are, you can see the ball and socket joint there. Straight through, and we are done. Lovely, so you get the idea, okay? Now the thing about quail, it's game, okay? And it's like, so it's like pheasant, it's like partridge, it's like wild duck, which means we don't need to cook it 100% true. In fact, you don't want to cook it all the way through. It's not like chicken where there's a fear of salmonella. You want it medium rare. That's the perfect way to have it. If you still turn around and say, okay, Trevo, I'm working with you with the elimination of the fear here, but I really want it all the way done, then try it. But trust me, it stays so much more succulent and juicy by doing it this way. Season, 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 okay? So we get our rock salt. And I absolutely love this dish because of its simplicity. Pepper. And always, always, always skin side down. Nice and hot. We're going to get a sizzle when we throw in a little knob of butter. That's what we're looking for. And in we go. Skin side down. And this does not take long at all, guys, to cook. So what's the fear in this, Trevo? Well, quail. Not many people will eat it or try it. But also, think about what I said. Try it medium rare. A little bit pink in the inside. Trust me. Now, we season one side, so we need to season the other side. And let's just get a good look at that in there, guys, now. That's already crispening up. That's exactly what we're looking for. Salt in, now our pepper. And keep that pan really good and hot. Let's get the last bit of butter inside there. Now, what have we got here? A little bit of gem lettuce. Beautiful. And we're gonna char it in the pan as well. So let's just nick it there at the bottom, take off the root, and just take off one or two little outer leaves like that. That's exactly what we want. Get rid of that. Same here again. Just literally at the bottom, take off one or two outer leaves. We want to be able to keep it whole. And then we just go straight through the middle and straight through the middle again. So we've kind of quartered it off like that. 
Now, I told you this wasn't going to take long to cook. So think, think, think. Look at that, guys. The skin is crisping to absolute perfection. So we know we're ready to turn. So get in there quick. Get in there quick. Get in there quick. Flip them all over. Oh, this is absolutely beautiful, guys. Look at this. That one's mine. That one is absolutely perfect. How long has that been cooking, guys? A couple of minutes, and we're about 30 seconds away from having them medium rare. Now, Trevor, you're always teaching us things about food. How do we know? I want you touching it, right? So there's still a little bit of give in that. Just another 30 seconds. Perfect. You want it just still to be a little bit of a bounce in it, but certainly not firm. That means we've cooked it too much. And if you're not sure, guys, just take one out, slice it in half, and have a look, okay? Beautiful. Now, shallot. Nice and simple like that, guys. Get them anywhere, no problems. They're just that little bit sweeter, and that's why we're using them, okay? So straight down the middle, like so. Take out the root at the end. See that part there? Get rid of that piece there. Don't want it. Two fibers. And then we just slice it down the middle. And we slice it down the middle. And then we just give it a nice fine chop. Before we do that, for me, they are absolutely perfect. So here's what we do. Take it off. And we just want to put them on a tray. Because like everything, guys, we want them to rest. Oh, God. I'm so tempted to tuck into that straight away. So just leave them there for one second, okay? Give our shallots a nice, fine, get as fine as you can, guys, okay? And now, here's where we make our really simple dressing, okay? There's our shallot, ready to go. Pan back on. You can get the flavor. It's wafting around the kitchen. The smell is just absolutely amazing. And that's the key to it. That's exactly what we want. Pan is getting up nice and hot. Let's throw in those shallots. Beautiful. And now this is where we put the flavors together that we're looking for. A little bit of walnut oil. And Trevo, can I use anything else? Yes, especially if you've got another allergy. Maybe go into something like a sesame oil, sesame seed oil, something like that, okay? But this is where the flavor's coming in. So if you can go with walnut oil, trust me, that's what we want to put in. So in we go, and we're actually creating a warm dressing there. Listen to it sizzle. And look, <gasps> is Trevo putting lettuce into a frying pan? Absolutely, because it's no different to a spinach. It's no different to a bok choy or anything at all like that. We just want to warm it through. We want to soften those shallots. Oh yeah, come on. I said we're making a dressing, so we need to put some sort of acid in there. And the seasoning, the third one is salt, pepper, lemon juice, and exactly what I'm putting in. If you want to be a little bit adventurous, maybe a little bit of red wine vinegar, a little drop of balsamic vinegar or something like that. But here, we're going in with our lemon. And just squeeze it in. And remember what I tell you guys, the way to perfect cooking is to truly understand seasoning. I want to taste the quail. I want to taste the charred lettuce. That's what I'm looking for. Where's my tongs? Turn them over there now. Just enough to wilt them. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is it, guys. This. And I tell you what, guys, actually, any vegetarians out there, that's an amazing vegetable dish, just like that. That's beautiful. Let's flick it around so we get the oil, we get the onions, we get everything mixed in with each other. And now... Let's pop our quail back in. And most importantly, guys, can you see all the juices in there? That's what we want to get back into the pan because that's where they belong. It's a marriage made in heaven. And now we are almost ready to serve. <laughs> How easy was it? And it took minutes and it's a little bit different and it's eliminating the fear. I can't believe I'm eating Foul, only medium rare, medium. I can't believe I'm eating quail. That's what it's all about, eliminating the fear. So let's go, guys, and we get some lovely presentation going on. Look at that. Let's keep that baby gem lettuce like this. Look at the steam coming off. There's a leg, a breast, another leg. Oh, yeah, Trevo, you've done it again, my man. But it means nothing unless you are trying this at home. Turn it over, get that lovely crispy skin on display. 
Remember, guys, presentation is key. We're giving the kids a shout. We're giving mom and dad a shout. Giving, come on, guys, out to the table. The starter is nearly ready. We're plonking it right in the middle. A couple of the onions on top. <laughs> now, I told you it's all about eliminating the fear. That's exactly what we've done. We've cooked it in real time. It's taken only a couple of minutes, and we have created an absolute beautiful dish, guys. Please try this because you're going to love it, because I do.